So, a while back in my younger days, me and one of my homeboys decided we was going to go to a motherfucking house party. And some of y'all remember house parties. House parties was a shit back in the day, man. Because you didn't have to worry about no dress code and all that shit. Chicks was coming at motherfucker damn near half naked. You know, everybody was chilling. The only thing you had to make sure was you had to make sure that whatever the house party you was going to, you was good in that hood. Because wasn't no security coming to pull nobody up off your ass. Wasn't no goddamn search at the door. So you have all kind of crazy shit that could happen at house parties. So you had to be ready for any motherfucking thing. Motherfucker might bring guns up in that bitch. Fights might break out. You had to be ready for that type of shit. This house party was taking place in the summer. Now, summertime house parties, you may have to deal with, you know, you in a tight motherfucking space. So you might be dealing with weak old pussy, three, four day old balls, dick, ass, just motherfuckers not washing their shit. And that aroma would be in the motherfucking air. You may be subjected to this type of fuckery. Some of y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. But me and my homeboy decided to go to this motherfucking party. So we throw on our gear, go out to the motherfucking house party. This shit jumping. You can see motherfuckers outside and shit already. When we get in that motherfucking music loud, shit jumping and everything like that shit was cool. And this is back when motherfuckers was actually dancing with each other. You know, now a lot of motherfuckers got these dances they do by themselves. But this is back when motherfuckers were grinding and, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. It was cool like that, right? So I goes up in the motherfucker. Me and my homeboy goes up in the motherfucking party and shit like that. We in there chilling and shit. I'm out there. You know, I'm just in there chilling. Ain't really nothing jumping off. Good vibe. Little bit of ass in the motherfucking air. But it wasn't real, real stank like that. Windows was open and everything. So it was cool, right? Then this motherfucking bad ass black girl walks up on me. Right? I'm over there just bobbing. You know, doing my little two-step. Not... Minding my own business, ain't dancing with nobody. She walks up on me thick as fuck. Thick as hell. Pretty as fuck. Sexy. Got on a motherfucking skirt. And one of them little halter top shirts and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? She ran up on me and pulls me off like, yo. I've been wanting to dance with you since you got here. I said, oh shit. That's what I say in my head. I'm thinking to myself, I ain't even, I ain't say no prayers or nothing before I left the house. I just came out, you know, like, I ain't said no prayers or nothing. Like, I'm over there minding my business. She come pull me over to the wall. And if a girl gonna take you over to the wall, that means she's trying to work your motherfucking ass out. That's what she's trying to do, give you some balance. All you really got to do is stand there, essentially. This is all you got to do. All you got to do is stand there and chill, and she going to do the work. She gonna put the work in for you. She gonna put the work in on you. And I was sitting there with my own boy. I, I drug him over there. I was like, man, come on over here. Anyway, you know, we was gonna go over there. I told him, just come on over here. There might be some other chicks over here on the wall looking to work some motherfuckers out, right? So she leans me up against the motherfucking wall, right? Start going in, up, down, left, right. It's going, it's going ham. And I'm sitting there like, what the fuck, right? Her skirt start lifting up. She got on a motherfucking thong. And I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? Right? And she don't give a fuck. She ain't trying to pull it down or nothing. And I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? So, shit. Like a man should, I start putting my hands all over her ass and shit. Because she was thick as fuck. Right? And I'm sitting here like, whoa. This... And I look at my homeboy. I look him in the face. He just shake his head. He start smiling and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause niggas get hype. You know what I'm saying? You got you come with a whole boy. He see you dance with a bad chick. They gonna get hype for you and shit, right? But then y'all, she takes my hand. One of my six my it was, it was my motherfucking right, right? She took my hand and put it on her crotch. And I'm sitting here like, what in the fuck? This is the big what the fuck in my mind. I'm sitting here trying to play all this shit cool as fuck. But I'm saying, like, what the fuck is going on? She put my hands on her crotch. So, I mean, I, I, I felt like I didn't have a choice because I wasn't the aggressor here. I wasn't the aggressor. I feel like I didn't have a choice. So I just start fingering this chick right there in the motherfucking party, right? And I had to do a check. 
So I go in, y'all know what the check is. Some of y'all familiar with the check. I don't know if y'all still doing the check or not. So I put my fingers in there and shit like that, and I wanted to smell my hands, make sure that I wasn't fucking with no weak old. You know what I'm saying? Because don't nobody got time for no weak old. I mean, I wasn't getting a smell, but you, you can tell better once you stir it up. You see what I'm saying? And wasn't no smell. I was like, okay, oh shit. So I'm sitting there fanging this chick on the motherfucking wall. She going in. She grabs my homeboy. He was just standing there. She puts her, his hands on her motherfucking titties. I'm like, what in the fuck? And in my mind, I'm thinking, oh shit. This might be some old, she trying to do both of us type shit. Some choo-choo type shit. And I'm sitting here in my head like, yo, I know I didn't say no prayers before I left the house. This is all I can think of. Like, I ain't say shit. So we dance a couple songs. She goes off to get her something to drink. I'm sitting here looking at my homeboy in the face like, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck was that shit? So a couple more songs come on. We only stay there for about an hour and a half. And we goes to roll out. This chick runs up on me. And say, where y'all going? I said, oh, shit. Because I know if she worried about a y'all, then she might be trying to get it in with both of us. So I said, we're going to go back to the crib and smoke a little, you know, smoke a little bit, chill. You know what I'm saying? She said, can I come too? I looked at my homeboy in the face. I couldn't even, the, the question was so out of control. I'm looking at him and she, he looking at me like, before we could even get the hell yeah, I, I said hell yeah before our mouths did. So I'm sitting here like, hell yeah, you can come back with me. You can come to the motherfucking crib. That's cool with me. We're just going to sit there and chill and smoke. Get back to the motherfucking crib, right? We get back to the motherfucking crib. Smoking and shit. Laughing and shit. She said, you funny as fuck. You know, this shit think I'm funny as hell. My homeboy, you know, he dying laughing. Just to the crazy shit I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So we in there smoking and shit. And then she takes her hand and grabs my dick. And at this point, I know what the fuck is going on here. Because not only does she grab my dick, she grabbed my homeboy's dick. And I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? All right. This shit really happened. And again, we haven't initiated anything. Now, nine times out of ten, a man is going to be the one to initiate any type of, especially with a threesome type shit. Like, not really, this wouldn't be a threesome. This is more like a train. But typically a woman, a man going to be trying to persuade a woman to, to let him and his homeboys do it. I ain't said shit. I'm just in there, goddamn, we keep kidding, laughing and shit like that. She go grab my dick, grab his dick. She goes to unzip my motherfucking pants, start sucking dick. And I'm like, what the fuck? And she pulled my homeboys out, she started jacking his motherfucking dick. Then she starts sucking his dick too. I say, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, I'm thrown off. Now my homeboy, he's super hyped. He's super hyped because, again, this girl is bad. Bad black girl. So he goes, gets him a rubber. He start hitting it from the back. I'm still getting hit. I said, let me, let me just chill and get some hair, right? Here's where shit start getting a little bit weird. Because she going in. This girl, this ain't her first time. She got etiquette. She got motherfucking two niggas at a time etiquette. So she throwing it back on him, sucking my dick, and, you know, like a motherfucking professional. But the shit start getting weird when I look, I'm, I'm, I'm minding my motherfucking business. I'm just getting head, chilling, minding my motherfucking business. My homeboy sitting there looking at me dead in the motherfucking face. And I give him a look like nigga. I had nigga in my eyes. But clearly he didn't give a fuck. So he's sitting there looking at my dick, looking at me in the eyes, and I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? What are you doing looking at me But you can't really say it Because you don't want to fuck the vibe But I'm fucked up Because this motherfucker is staring at me And got and her ass is fat Like I'm minding my business Not looking at his dick 
no shit like that. And I ain't one of them type niggas that would ever engage in no threesome or no shit or got them train type shit where me and I mean, another nigga is touching. Like, nigga, you stay on your end, I stay on my end. Ain't no touching. I don't see how these motherfuckers do it on porn where they one being an asshole, one being a pussy hole. They balls can be touching and everything and don't nobody feel gay. Don't know how they do it. It's a talent I never acquired. But I don't know why this motherfucker is looking at me in my motherfucking eyes. Like, nigga, what the fuck are you looking at? So I'm thinking, okay, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe he want to be up here getting some hair. So I grab a rubber. I, I'm like, all right, switch. I'm going to get some pussy now. So I goes, I'm hitting it from the motherfucking back. And she throwing it back and shit like that. Now he getting hair. This nigga is still looking at me in my motherfucking face and looking at my dick. At this point, I can't even fully deal. I can't deal with the situation because I'm feeling like it's some real gay ass shit going on right now. And I don't know what to fucking do about it. Because I don't want to fuck the motherfucking baba. So I tap the fuck out. I say, I'm, 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 I'm leaving. I was done with the situation. This motherfucker fucked it up for me. So I get the fuck out of the goddamn room. I say, I'm, I'm out. I let him go ahead and do his motherfucking thing. He comes out all of one minute later. After I done stormed out this bitch. And I pull this motherfucker to the side. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing sitting there staring at me in my motherfucking face and looking at my goddamn dick, man? Because I'm mad. Because that threw my whole shit off. This motherfucker gonna tell me, man. I thought it was cool. I liked the way you were stroking it. Y'all, if you could see the look on my face when this motherfucker told me this shit. I like the way you was... It, it, it played three or four times in my motherfucking head before I said, what the fuck you mean you like focus on your motherfucking stroke, man? What the fuck are you talking about? You liked the way I was stroking her. I was getting head. You was looking at my dick, man. What are you talking about? That's some gay ass shit. So I'm blanking on this motherfucker a little bit. Like, I, cause I'm that mad. I'm that motherfucking mad. And now I'm feeling like this nigga, my, he must be gay. This is all I can think of. Like this nigga gay. This some gay ass shit. Even though we sitting here with this woman, and this nigga still being on some gay ass shit. That's all I can think of. My, my homeboy gay. I've been hanging out with a gay ass nigga for this goddamn long. And it ain't like I knew him for like 10 years or anything like that. We had just started being, we had been kicking it, you know what I'm saying, hanging out for some months. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no like homie, homie type shit. But now I'm thinking, ah, oh, this nigga must be a motherfucking gay ass nigga. So she comes out of the motherfucking room. She want me to take her to the crib. So I say, yeah, I'll take you by your ass home. I'll take you home. I'm sitting here frustrated this hell. So I get her to the motherfucking crib, right? And then she goes, well, do you want to come up? And I'm sitting here mad because I didn't get to come or nothing. I didn't get to come because I was thrown off by this gay ass nigga sitting here looking at my goddamn face, turning my dick. So she goes in the crib. I say, well, you got to take a shower and shit first. You got to, you know, take a shower and shit first. And then, you know, we'll see what the fuck things go. Because I, I mean, I'm because again, she thick as fuck. So I'm sitting here like, God damn, man, you, you didn't get to come or nothing. So I goes in and one time. Dolo. One timer on the dolo. Went in, went ham. She started acting like she liked me like that. Like, like we gonna have something building from this. And I'm like, bitch, please. There's no way we can build from this. My homeboy just got through, we just got through running like a partial train on you. I can't build with you. There's no way you can like me like that. She give me a number and all this shit. And I'm like, you know, I, I can't fucking talk to you like that. I can't fuck with you like that. So ain't no point in liking me heavy. I can't. Because you did this shit too good anyway. I'm thinking all this in my head. You know, I take her number and I go into the car. I hadn't said this shit to her. But in my head, I'm like, this bitch is goddamn out of her goddamn body. Hell no. Trying to boost me up with your homeboy. I really wasn't feeling him like that anyway. I was really feeling you. I just did that because I thought that's what you want. I'm like, no, bitch. This is what you like. Stop. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't try to gas me up. <laughs> No, we're not going to do that shit. Here's what I'm saying to y'all. I want y'all to take this message from this. Men. 
have a conversation with your homeboy before y'all get in, involved in any type of train shit because I never had to talk with this motherfucker. Don't be looking at me. Don't be looking at my motherfucking dick for no reason. I don't give a damn if I got the most godly stroke you ever seen in your goddamn life. I don't give a damn if it's as interesting to you as watching a goddamn Michael Jackson thriller video, nigga. You don't sit here and look at me in my motherfucking face and you do not sit here and stare at my motherfucking dick when there's a woman right here. If you do this, I'm going to think you a motherfucking gay ass nigga. That's what I'm going to believe. And I could never hang with this motherfucker again after that. I could never hang with that dude again. Never. I never hung with that motherfucker again after that. Mm-mm. Motherfucker gonna come out. You know, it was some weeks and shit went by. I wasn't hanging up with him. You know, well, what's up, man? We ain't hung out in a while. I was like, nigga, you gay. Oh, that's foul, man. That's foul. I told you why I was looking at your dick. Like, listen to what you just said, nigga. Listen to what you just said. Do you know I've never had to say that sentence ever in my life? Do you know why I've never had to say nothing like that? Because I'm not gay. I ain't never been staring at nobody's dick in my life. Nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Like, stop fucking playing with me, yo. Like, these things be gay as hell out here. What the fuck? But <laughs> I wanted to tell y'all I just wanted to tell y'all this story A story about a house party And a train <laughs> And a gay ass nigga <laughs> That decided he wanted to stare at my dick Instead of being focused on his own Beware of niggas focused on your dick That's the moral to this entire story and I'm out.